thank you for providing me this opportunity to speak on the forum with this uh, interesting topic, which is not widely discussed because of uh, its rarity. So my colleague has already touched uh, this topic. And um, let us look at the um, cutaneous melanoma, just not uh, pigmentation, but a rare disease that does nevertheless happen in children. So the frequency of uh, melanoma in uh, from uh, uh, 15 to 19 years uh, has doubled uh, for the previous decade, but uh, uh, kept uh, at the same rate uh, in the younger children. Let us look at absolute figures, uh, the uh, mortal, uh, morbidity rate, 1.1 uh, per 1 million between uh, 1 and 4 years of age, uh, 10 children per 1 million at older age. It's extremely rare. However, let us look at the trends. And there is the dependence to age, uh, 0 to 9 years, 10 to 14 years, 15 to 19, and female, male. Uh, and you see, as started from uh, 1973, the uh, morbidity in the younger age stays stable. Compared to older children, we see the upward trend. Russian statistics uh, for 2018. Indeed, this is very a very rare disease. Now, um, based by groups uh, 0 to 4 years, 5 to 9 years, uh, 10 to 14, 15 to 19, uh, where we have uh, um, 27 per million. And we see at uh, elder age, we see more often uh, melanoma, which is very rare in younger children. The same trends uh, are observed uh, in uh, other countries. In Australia, uh, the, the figures are highest. Also, the data is in the second column for the US and uh, the UK in the third column. Russia is the fourth uh, column. Um, in the younger children, it's very rare. But uh, with the age progressing, uh, it goes up at uh, and peaks at the age of 15 to 19. My colleague has already mentioned uh, the subtypes, which are important uh, uh, to know because uh, there are um, risk factors and morphological and biological characteristics uh, and the way we treat it. Um, so uh, it could be uh, the de novo melanoma, half of all cases um, in children. Uh, usually it has the uh, nodular growth uh, and aggressive uh, uh, spizoid melanoma has about uh, half uh, uh, of all cases uh, in uh, adolescence uh, and with uh, favorable prognosis. Uh, and uh, innate um, uh, giant uh, uh, nevus is the most rare. However, prognostically, it's the most uh, uh, unfavorable and we men met such cases. So um, the classification is again here for you to uh, have a better picture, not only for oncologists, but also to dermatologists uh, to remember that it's a very rare disease. Uh, however, uh, the uh, rate, uh, the incidence rate uh, is going up uh, with the age and uh, uh, when uh, Parents bring their children uh, to uh, for uh, nevus excision because of pigmentation. Uh, it has nothing to do usually uh, with melanoma. And the previous speaker, in fact, confirmed it. They had about uh, 200 cases of uh, um, children in their uh, center and only 55 excisions. Um, mostly there were no uh, melanoma. First uh, um, factor is uh, skin phototype, uh, first and the second, uh, gigantic innate nevus and uh, uh, ultraviolet waves as well. Uh, 
Different risks were studied uh, for um, melanoma development based on the number of nevuses. Um, and uh, at the age group 50 to 90, the risk is 34 higher, um, for, for 34 times higher when there are 100 plus uh, nevuses uh, on skin and 15 times higher when um, with the children who have 10 uh, plus uh, major nevus uh, with diameter above 55%. The Australian study showed that in children younger than 15, that multiple nevuses and freckles, for example, shows the skin sensitivity, uh, indicates the higher incidence development, development incidence for melanoma. We do webinars on melanoma. The majority of nevus does not require excision. Melanoma, as you understand, develops at previously unchanged skins or can be the continuation for the inna gigantic nevus. So there should be a nevus. 20% of melanomes develop from the existing nevus. And but 80%, 80 or 70 at unchanged skin, de novo, so to say. In children, uh, most of uh, their nevuses does not do not require excision. And uh, if you look at uh, uh, the uh, malignification is uh, uh, 0 point and then 0, 0, 005 uh, uh, before the years of uh, uh, 40, before 40. A, a, B, C, D, E um, in, ch in adult uh, and uh, the same um, classification in children. Uh, to the left uh, is notular melanoma uh, for adult. Uh, without dermatoscopy, it's very clear for an expert uh, um, that um, this is um, the true melanoma. Uh, cutaneous melanoma. To the right, this is nodular melanoma for a child of 16, and in the middle, nodular melanoma in a child of two years of um, age. See, when uh, um, parents bring uh, the child uh, uh, to um, a pediatrician uh, or to surgeon, they believe that uh, it's uh, uh, not a melanoma. Nobody will think so. And uh, the morphological examination is done. Here is our clinical example, an example which I wanted to uh, show. Uh, a girl born in 2016 from, uh, six, from Kazakhstan. Uh, in um, September 20, um, we re it was um, the excision of gluteal um, uh, um, 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 Nevus at the left uh, gluteal, and uh, she was referred to, to oncology a center named after Blukin. Um, uh, there was the macroscopic and microscopic description, and uh, there were no anglo uh, lymphatic, lymphatic uh, invasion. This is before uh, preoperative. Uh, um, the mom product provided the picture, and this is after the excision when uh, uh, we. Um, we see the scar after the surgery. Uh, no um, regional metastasis were discovered, and it was decided uh, to do biopsy of the sentinel uh, lymphatic node. So it was done uh, in the left groin. Gistological examination, the removed lymphatic uh, um, not, not, no um, tumors. Uh, epidermis is regular. Immune uh, hist uh, um, uh, gistochemistry uh, that must be done in patients uh, for biopsy in uh, sentinel uh, lymphatic node. Uh, we see uh, no macrometastatic uh, uh, signs.
That's the section of the lymph node. You see cells in small groups. This positive expression of melanoma-specific markers like melana can be um, 45 um, with uh, um, two by two millimeters um, um, sizes. So that's so we've done the stages: T4A and one AMO, third stage. Uh, at molecular study, we found the BRAF V600E mutation. And at the concilium, uh, together with the colleagues, we've discussed uh, that uh, patient uh, the risks the age. It's a young girl. Uh, so with that uh, mutation, BRAF, uh, so we've recommended the adjuvant um, uh, target uh, therapy with Zofosinib and Tuvinib, uh, standard doses. Uh, treatment was done for 12 months uh, with the control of oncologists uh, with um, uh, regular control visits after three uh, each three uh, months of uh, therapy. So she keeps receiving that uh, therapy till nowadays. Uh, if we analyze our experience in general, I just took a small period of time uh, when we uh, started to do it in a more targeted manner since September of the year 20, when in our center there was formed a group. It has been formed a while ago, just uh, it was, uh, uh, well, um, approved uh, um, with documents uh, uh, later on. So in treatment of um, um, skin melanomas in children since September of the year 20, uh, we had many applications um, and if you uh, many referrals. Um, and with the giant nervous, uh, we had three children, melanoma spitzer five um, uh, pediatric uh, patients. And um, we uh, regarded uh, several uh, morphological conclusions. Um, we always do it <coughs> for children, uh, not one, but two or three or more morphologists are uh, doing that. Uh, de novo. Uh, melanoma, uh, eight children. And as for our general approach to diagnosis and treatment in uh, four uh, children, uh, there's the biopsy of sentinel uh, lymph node. Uh, well, I thought it's uh, rare, but well, um, but however, uh, the disease is rare, but we have uh, quite an experience uh, in biopsy of sentinel uh, node. The smallest child with this uh, procedure performed was four years old. Um, uh, joint therapy at the third stage of disease, I've demonstrated to one case. The other patient uh, has already finished uh, the year of treatment, systemic therapy. Uh, the earliest um, uh, age was since uh, 14, target therapy, anti-BRAF and IT uh, mec and the youngest. Age when we first did immunotherapy since uh, four years um, immunotherapy, anti PD1, uh, two uh, drugs, um, and uh, one child received anti CTLA4 uh, therapy. As for the complete response um, achievement with anti anti PD1, was in one uh, began a child with brain metastasis. Um, uh, she was transferred uh, to us at the age of uh, 16 as of um, uh, today. She's uh, aged 24. And uh, uh, the, throughout the last uh, uh, six years, she lives with metastasis in brain. While in the last year and a half, um, she lives without uh, treatment. Uh, after uh, the uh, complete response uh, was uh, achieved uh, with anti epidin immunotherapy. So she's now an adult, but we uh, started to treat her when she was an adolescent. That's it. Thank you for uh, the attention. That was a brief review of our experience and the opportunities, uh, the, uh, the rare uh, disease uh, uh, like um, skin melanoma and children. That's our experience. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, questions are welcome.